tomorrow was some of the cultural differences um, in f free will or choice. I think maybe choice is a better. Just our, in our beliefs, yeah. Our beliefs. Wide cultural differences. Sure, and can you explain some yeah. of that? Yeah. Yeah, so if you look at um, beliefs and choice across cultures, they are widely um, varying. There's a beautiful work by many social psychologists showing that um, in particular um, East Asian cultures versus Western, um, basically American cultures, um, but also other Western cultures, um, we just tend to view more actions as choices. And we also place a higher value on making our own choices um, in more contexts. Um, and when we've looked at this, we've here, tried to look the at United the States. development of this to see at what age it comes in. And sure enough, um, around this age, six, seven, eight years old, this is when our children in the US will start to say, we'll start to endorse choice in more and more and more contexts, the context that we're looking at, things like desires and morals and all of these sorts of things. The, the differences speak to the variation of beliefs about free will I think that we can have, um, but the universals are also really clear. So really clear that we all, we all believe in the, in, a, in the abstract. There is such a thing called choice and we have it. And then the context in which we apply that are very much dependent on the experiences we have, I think, as children. So what we're trying to do now is figure out is in as many cultures as we can, and we can't just ask our own children. We have to ask children all over the world. Um, what they think about their lives, what they value, what they, what they hold to be the choices that they have. And I think there's gonna be a relationship between the environment that you grow up in. In other words, the amount of choice you actually have and the amount of choice that you feel that you have. And that actually will have very powerful implications for kids who are growing up in a disadvantaged environment where they don't have enough choice. So the cultural differences though, we're talking about kids across cultures who are basically middle to high SES kids who have whatever choices their culture affords for them. So these kids are doing all right, no matter what. They're espousing their cultural worldviews um, and, they're, they're, and, and they're thriving in those cultures. But then there are kids within our own culture and across the world in many cultures who aren't doing all right. And those kids may have also very, very different beliefs and choice. We haven't even begun to find and ask those kids 